Behind the Grooves. Hello everyone and welcome to Behind the Grooves, where I, Josh Desern, the vinyl kid of Florida, take you to the other side of the record, Behind the Grooves. Today we're going to be looking at the most recently released record in my collection, 2016's Stranger to Stranger by Paul Simon. This album was released on June 2nd, 2016, sort of as a surprise record, because out of nowhere in March of that year, Paul Simon put out a surprise new song called Wristband following the announcement that a new record would be coming out, entitled Stranger to Stranger. This is his first album of new material since 2011's So Beautiful or So What, of which he did a massive solo tour of, well, obviously it was a solo tour, it was just his record. He's not with Garfunkel anymore, so it would not be with Garfunkel. Anyways, so on the cover here is a part of a painting that somebody did of Paul Simon. You can tell that it's his eye and it says Stranger to Stranger Paul Simon on it. And let me clarify first off that this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive, so if this differs from your pressing in any way, shape, or form, please forgive me. I'm just pointing out now. On the back here, there are artistic elements that are part of the painting of Paul Simon. On the bottom here, it says, produced by Paul Simon and his old partner, Roy Halley. You know, it's funny, but I thought Garfunkel was his old partner. When getting back to the record, let's look at the track listing. Side A has The Werewolf, Wristband, the first single, The Clock, Street Angel, Stranger to Stranger, and In a Parade. Side B has Proof of Love, In the Garden of Edie, The Riverbank, Cool Papa Bell, which is my favorite song on here, and Insomniac's Lullaby. So this album was really well received. I'm not sure where it went to on the Billboard charts, but all I know for sure is that, unfortunately, it did not win a Grammy this past year, and that really disappoints me because this album, in my personal opinion, next to David Bowie's Black Star, The Monkees' Good Times, and a lot of other records that came out in 2016, it should have won a Grammy or for Album of the Year. Well, right or wrong, let's open up this record. Again, Barnes & Noble exclusive, so a lot of things come with it. Well, first of all, it comes with this little card you're going to get that just basically says thank you for buying. You can download this as an MP3, so that's cool. I don't know if it'll still be usable by the time you buy it, but usually it expires within a year of the record's release. Second, this is an exclusive lithograph, well, lithograph, quote-unquote, of more artistic elements from the painting and then some personal notes from Paul Simon talking about the production of the record and such. And the inner sleeve, this side has all the lyrics to all the songs, and this side has the famous painting that we've been talking about all episode. And, you know, the credits to who produced and who played what instrument. And now, when we open the record up, <gasps> look at that, marble orange vinyl. So here is side A, don't get confused if you're a Barnes & Noble holder. This is side A, with wristband and the werewolf and all that stuff. And here's side B with the text, with the track listing. And uh, that's really about it for Paul Simon's Stranger to Stranger. Um, in case you didn't hear, he's going on another tour this summer, possibly coming to a town near you. He's coming to a town near me. He's coming to St. Augustine. I'm going all the way out to St. Augustine to see Paul Simon. I've never seen him before. He's one of my top tens I've never seen. Well, part of them anyway. I'm really excited. I really hope that sometime soon he can find it in his heart to do a reunion with Garfunkel, even though I don't really like Garfunkel at all. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this review. It means the world to me that you take a few minutes every day to watch me review such a sensational modern record such as this. As always, please subscribe for more Behind the Grooves. We try to release a new episode whenever we want these days. There are only a few episodes left until the end of the season, so stay tuned. This is Josh Desern, the Vinyl Kid of Florida, signing out with Peace and Love, Peace and Love, and an original 2016 Barnes & Noble pressing exclusive of Paul Simon's Stranger to Stranger. Rock on, my friends, and stay groovy.